Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using my favorite makeup products currently. I feel like mostly my bread and butter on YouTube is reviews, but someone had commented the other day on one of my videos that they would like to see some different kinds of videos on my channel, which I totally understand. Um, I do feel like I try to stick to reviews because that tends to get the most engagement from you guys, which communicates to me that those are the videos you like to see. But if you like to see other videos as well, please feel free to let me know in the comments. It helps me tremendously to know what kind of videos to film and what you guys want to see. And they're also so much fun for me to film. I love filming different types of videos, not just always reviews, but these types of videos as well. It gives me a chance to play with makeup and do looks and it's so much fun. So thank you so much to that person who commented. I really appreciate your feedback. It helps me a lot with knowing what types of videos to film. Um, so let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm going to start off by doing the face. Normally, I actually start off with my eyes, just but just for the purposes of this video, um, I'm going to do the face first, just so it's a little bit easier to follow and I'm not jumping back and forth a million times. Um, so I don't really have a ride or die primer. I kind of, primers are like hit or miss for me. Sometimes I wear them, sometimes I don't. I don't feel like they're absolutely crucial to my makeup, but I definitely notice that they do make a difference and my makeup does go on better when I have a primer on. So this isn't exactly a primer, but I have used this before and I like it. Because I don't have like an all-time favorite primer, I'm just going to use one that I like. So this is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. I got this in a Sephora Play Box, so I just sort of gave up on the vlogging thing. I really, really enjoy vlogging. I think it's so much fun, but um, you know, a lot of the videos I do, I go by what I feel like you guys want to see. So um, the more feedback comments and things like that that you can give me on the videos you like the easier it is for me to figure out what kind of videos to do i have absolutely been obsessed with this combination this is the makeup forever ultra hd foundation stick in the color 128 and this is the sephora make no mistakes foundation in the color hickory and i have been loving mixing these two it gives the absolute nicest finish ever and this is a drier consistency and this is a very sort of oily consistency so when they mix together it just it creates a really really nice texture to the skin so I place the darker color around the perimeters of my face and the lighter color on the inside Artiste brush. This is the number Oval 7. Okay, so for under eye concealer, I've been obsessed for a really long time with the Sephora Smoothing and Brightening Concealer in the color Medium. I'm a little concerned because I feel like they may have discontinued this, which would be a huge bummer. Because what I love about it is it's got a peach undertone, so it cancels out the darkness, but it's a really, really light formula. So it doesn't settle into fine lines and it's extremely easy to blend. And I just find that it conceals and brightens my under eye without looking heavy or like cakey, I guess. And then I like blending this concealer in with my finger. Again, it just blends so easily and quickly and the finish is awesome. This is like my daily go-to concealer. So for setting my under eye, I've been loving the Velvetizer by Urban Decay. I've talked about this in a few different videos and I actually did a one minute review on it. So if you're interested in a more in-depth review, you can check that out. But I just take a tiny bit on the brush and I pat it in from the outer corner inwards. I find that patting from the outer corner inwards makes a huge difference in the amount that it settles into fine lines. So I do this on myself, but also on clients, and I feel like 
it just makes a huge difference. It's just so much less cakey under there. And I just use a little bit. I'm not really into using a ton of powder under my eye just because, again, I like that sort of naturally concealed look. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be taking my MAC Cosmetics Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Medium. This is just kind of a holy grail product for me. It doesn't provide a lot of coverage to the skin, but it sets the makeup and leaves a beautiful, naturally perfected finish. And it kind of just cuts down a little bit of the shine. And I use this IT Cosmetics brush. This is the Bye Bye Pores Powder Brush, number seven. I love using a dense brush to press in my powder because you get that much more of a perfected look. Okay, so if you have watched any of my videos before, you know my all-time favorite bronzer is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light. This is my Holy Grail bronzer. I just love the fact that it's a little bit warmer, and for me, that just helps brighten up my complexion. I love a cool tone bronzer sometimes, but this is, is what I like to use when I just want that really glowing complexion. It also has a tiny, tiny amount of like micro shimmer in it, which also gives that really healthy look. It blends seamlessly. It's got awesome pigmentation. I'm probably going to be hitting pan on this soon because I use it so much. For blush, my favorite blush at the moment is the Becca Mineral Blush in Flower Child. It's an absolutely gorgeous like corally pink shade with tiny little shimmers in it. And I love the iridescence it brings to the cheeks, and I love the color. I think it's super flattering. So I just take a little bit on my brush, and just pat it and sweep it back. And you can see that it does catch the light ever so slightly. So if you wear this blush and bronzer combination, you can go without a highlighter if you want to. For highlighter, it's no secret. The Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop is a favorite of mine. It's just really good. I really like the shade. I love how it's like a sort of bronzy, a light bronze champagne shade. I just find it really flattering for my skin tone. And I love how you just need to use a tiny bit and you can get a really nice reflective glow. I don't like too much highlighter. Just my personal preference is more of a subtle, very blended look, kind of like the blush. I like to pop it on my cheekbones, Cupid's bow. Tiny bit on the bridge of the nose. Okay, so for the brows, I keep my brows pretty, pretty simple. I don't do anything crazy with them. I just like to fill in some of the gaps and give them a tiny bit more shape. And for that, lately, my go-to has been the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Brunette. Very, very inexpensive, but quite effective, actually. I think the color is a tiny bit warm for me, so I can't use a lot of it because the brown is just a warmer shade. My brows are more like an ashy color. So I just have to use it with a light hand, but as long as I do that, it works pretty well. I love the super fine tip. The pigmentation is nice and it gets the job done. It's really important as you're doing your brows to use the spoolie to blend before the product has a chance to set and that's just gonna make it look a lot more natural and less drawn in. To set my brows, I love to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. It's just a winner. It feels like um, hairspray for your eyebrows. Keeps them just locked in place. Okay, so for eyes, I have been absolutely loving two eyeshadow palettes in the past couple months. One is the Ace Beauty Quintessential Palette. I did a full review and two looks with this palette if you're interested in more info. But it's just, I've been reaching for it because I love the colors and the pigmentation and blendability is amazing. 
The other palette I've been constantly reaching for is the Kylie Cosmetics Royal Peach. Again, I love the colors, the pigmentation is awesome, and the blendability is great, and that's kind of just what I look for when I pull a palette out of my drawer. I want something that's going to be quick, easy, and hassle-free. So two palettes I absolutely love for that purpose, and because I feel like I this palette's a little bit less well-known, I'm going to go in with this palette today. I've been really liking more of a soft eye look, so that's what we're going to go for. Okay, so I'm going to grab Nutmeg to start and just use a big fluffy brush. This one is by IT Cosmetics and just buff this color into the crease. I like doing this first just because it allows the other colors to blend a little bit easier and it just creates a nicer gradient when you start laying on some darker colors over top. Okay, next I'm going to grab Tangerine and Nutmeg on a slightly more tapered blending brush and I'm going to use these colors mixed and buff them over the, basically over the same area that we use Nutmeg. I place my brush first starting in the middle of my lid because that's where I want the most color deposited. The place that you put your brush down first after dipping it in the eyeshadow will be the place where the pigment is most concentrated. So. Start there and then buff out. This process takes a decent amount of blending to get a really blown out smoky look. So just be patient with it, but it shouldn't take too, too long. Just get really into those edges and make sure it's soft and buffed out. You can always go in with a clean blending brush like I'm doing right here and just go over everything to make sure it's super smooth and gradient. All right, now I'm grabbing Patchouli. It's a matte cream shade. This color, or I'm sorry, this eye look is going to be mostly matte. And I'm just using a flat shader brush. This one is by MAC. And just pressing it all over the lid right under the darker colors that we put through the crease. Now to deepen up the crease a bit more, I'm gonna take Cinnamon. It's a medium toned matte brown shade. And again, I'm just starting in the middle of my lid and blending to the right and left into those other colors. I'm keeping the brush above the cream shade that we put down all over the lid because I find that if I keep my lid bright and concentrate my shadows just in the crease and not on the mobile eyelid, it really opens my eyes and gives my eyes a bigger, more wide awake look. Now I'm grabbing Rosewood and just this stiff brush, I believe it's from Sigma, and I'm just pressing this just in the outer corner of my eye to add a little bit of color and a little bit of definition to the lash line. Hopping to the lower lash line, I'm taking a pencil brush in the same colors we used initially through the crease. I'm mixing Tangerine and Nutmeg and just buffing it all along the lower lash line, taking it right into the inner corner. Don't feel like you have to be shy with this. You can really buff it out, make it really smoky, and it's just going to pull the whole look, look together. Now I'm grabbing Cinnamon again. It was that deeper brown shade, and I'm using the pencil brush, brush to trace the shadow underneath the colors we did before. This is another technique to make your eyes look bigger. This is such a beautiful highlight shade. I'm grabbing Jasmine and just, again, with the same pencil brush, placing that in the tear duct area and just under the brow to complete the eye look. Now on to mascara. I have been absolutely obsessed with this mascara lately. I did a review on this and a couple other Wonder 2 products if you're interested in seeing a more detailed review on this, but I just absolutely love it. And this coupled with my Live Fresh um, Castor Oil Eyelash and Eyebrow Growth Serum, I have been living for my lashes lately. I don't even need falsies, which is awesome. So I am skipping false lashes for this look just to keep it fresh and open and this is just what I've been into lately. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, we're going to jump to the lips. As I mentioned, this is a pretty soft, simple eye look. This is just really what I've been into lately for fall. I haven't been doing a lot of winged liner or anything like that. I've just been sort of liking a fresh, smoky eye, if you will. So for the lips, I'm going to go in with Spice Lip Liner by MAC. I don't really have a favorite lip liner right now. This just happens to be the one that matches the lipstick that I'm going to be using. Okay, so to finish the look off, I'm going to go in with the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. This formula is absolutely incredible. I wore it out the other day. It was kind of like a day to night sort of thing. And I was really impressed with how comfortable this was to wear, how long it lasted. I was just really pleased. Great pigmentation. So this is in the shade 25. 
This is in the shade 25. So it's just a beautiful like a brownish kind of maroon color and I feel like it's perfect for fall and it'll help to balance out the very light simple eyes. Okay guys, so that completes the video, full face of makeup using my favorite makeup products of the moment. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked this type of video and want to see more, please hit like and the subscribe button. Please comment down below if you'd like to see this type of video so I know what types of videos to film going forward. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.